grand final winners for the first time, that must feel amazing. Yeah, um, it feels incredible. Uh, obviously, to be part of the team and come from the south and play with the Bradford ladies um, is a really big thing for me. But we've worked so hard this season and um, developed as players um, and a team as a whole. And I think this has showcased you know, how well we've done. The epitome of yeah, all that hard work paid off, really. I, I just said to somebody else then, not, not only to win the grand final, but to go the whole season unbeaten, you know, do a clean sleep on the, on the silverware. Absolutely, absolutely fantastic. Like, Girls had to grind it out a little bit today. Um, as, as we'd said, Featherstone would be better today than they had been in the last two encounters, and, and, and they were. Credit to them. Uh, but yeah, absolutely over the moon. Yeah. Don't get much better than that. Um, yeah, like I say, we've had a few uh, close runnings at grand finals and come away sort of a little bit broken. So definitely going into that game, we knew we were the favourites on paper. Um, that ramped up a little bit of pressure, sort of media and stuff. But we just made sure we were in the zone, focused. We had a job to do, we went away and we did it. To be 12-6 off at half-time, but then to keep them to nil in the second half, you must be really pleased with that. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't think all, you know, all game our defence was, 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 was pretty on, on point, really. Um, we, um, you know, there's a couple of things we could, we, we could tweak and, and, and improve on, but I, I thought we defended really, really well. Just, I just think the conditions probably didn't help us with, you know, we're trying to play a bit more expansive and we're trying to get them on the edges and... Uh, you know, with, with the with the rain and the slippy ball and everything, those brand new slippy balls that we were playing with, it was uh, it was difficult for the girls. So uh, obviously we got on top of that later on in the game and scored some nice tries. You know, we maintained our performance and then built on it. Um, did, you know, it's quite easy to slack off, and the conditions were really you know harsh, slippery balls. So I think we did well to yeah maintain and build on it again, like I said. You know, before we became part of the Bulls, we, we have been playing at various other other Bradford uh, clubs. Uh, and, and we got to finals, and, 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 and it was always the, the bridesmaid, never the bride, and, and always get defeated. So 12 months ago today, we, we lost in the grand final to, to Thato Heath St Helens uh, as the Bulls, uh, and then we probably got to the grand final the year before that and lost and, and, and stuff like that. So, so to get that first cup final victory under our belts, um, and, and, and we, we, I really tried to tried to manage that day to, to make it just like any other game. Today's been a bit different, we've got a, a bus provided by the Bulls and, and, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, once we got that monkey off our back, and, and you know, that was really really key for me. So I got no fears really going into today's game that we were going to be able to do it again if we, if we could play to our uh, best of our ability. I don't think we've had these conditions all season, so it's, it's quite funny that they turn up for Grand Final weekend, but hey ho, you know, we have, we have to cope with them. Um, especially for a fullback, you, you never really want rain, um, bit of wind. We don't want that. We just kept it quite settled, pulled the team in quite tight um, and just, just played simple stuff, uh, really basic rugby that made sure it were clearly cool really. They've really dug in and listened and, and you know we've seen them we've seen them improve week on week really and uh, you know it's just a pleasure to, to coach most of the time. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes they're not, that's uh, that, that's what you get. But no they're a pleasure to pleasure to coach and uh, you know, it, it, it's unbelievable. I don't, I don't think it's, it's, it's been done before in the women's game, and um, yeah, great, great, uh, great recognition really for, for that group of girls who've done ever so well all season. Undefeated for the whole season. That's a fantastic achievement. How, how proud does that make you feel? Amazing, like super proud. Um, every single one of us has, you know, put our heart and soul into it, including Mark and all the support staff and. Yeah, like I said, this is the epitome of everything we've worked for this season. Charlotte, you must feel immensely proud scoring a try in the final as well. Yeah, yeah, really proud, really buzzing. Um, I broke, uh, it was quite a while to go out. I wasn't really sure if I've had, if I've had the pace, but yeah, cracked down, head down, um, looked up. I managed to get a quick hand off to the full back and then, yeah, put it, put it down and then everyone sort of came in and, yeah. Electric. What's it like playing with these group of girls coming from the south? You're an adopted Yorkshire woman. It must be, must be, must feel great. Yeah, no, it's great. They're, they're a totally different gravy, and it's taken a while to get used to the northern culture. But um, they've welcomed me with open arms. Um, been very accommodating in terms of uh, me not being able to train so much, but be part of the team on match days. Um, I love them to bits. Yeah, they're great.